Thank you. State lawmakers expected to burn the midnight oil tonight as they scramble to pass an on-time budget. The problem is some of the bills weren't finalized until just a few hours ago. So legislators have found themselves with cartloads of paper to pick through before they vote yay or nay. We go now to Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard live outside the Capitol. Kimberly, are we any closer to seeing this deal done? Well, Cody, we do have a clearer picture now on what both education and ethics reform will look like, but so far, not one single vote. The Senate just gaveled in a short time ago, and right now the Assembly is currently in recess. Meanwhile, just about seven hours until a final deal has to be done. The finishing touches in black and white carted into the Assembly chamber only hours before the budget deadline. These are the 10 largest paper-filled bills and word-filled bills that we'll be getting for this whole session. As the paper was passed, votes were pushed back. Lawmakers huddled in closed-door conferences and legislative staffers poured through pages of policy. Many of the bills are too young to meet the three-day aging period, so they'll have to be passed by a message of necessity, which is issued by Governor Cuomo. I refuse to vote for messages of necessity now because they're for emergencies, a terrorist attack, a weather problem, a real financial uh, concern. It's not an ideal world. It's not an ideal uh, you know, situation, but you know, people in the state want an on-time budget. Still, some lawmakers feel the process is being rushed. They say they haven't had time to fully understand what they're voting on, despite being fully aware of the April 1st deadline. Whose fault is that? I think there's enough fault to go around, but I think it's the governor and the legislative leaders. I mean, uh, they've got to do their due diligence. They've had three months. The governor's office has insisted on including things like education and ethics reform in the budget itself. Lawmakers say that's complicated things, but they're still confident a final spending plan can be approved by the stroke of midnight. And coming up at 6, we take a closer look at what this long-awaited education reform will actually look like. We'll also keep you posted on it, if anything, actually makes it to the floor, both on air and online. We're live at the Capitol. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.